Welcome back to Crypto AI Profit. Today I wanted to take another look through Aletheia AI because this channel is about crypto, AI, and profit, and this trusted synthetic media blockchain infrastructure has all of those ingredients. So I also wanted to take a look at this Baby O parody character and take a look at how this can create new income streams for AI developers and others. So taking a look at this Cointelegraph article, it says new blockchain marketplace aims to tackle morality issues of deep fake media. And Aletheia AI's marketplace is for creators of synthetic media, as known as video, image, or voice material created by artificial intelligence. And the CEO, Arif Khan, is leveraging blockchain to ensure that synthetic media is circulated responsibly by providing infrastructure for licensing, circulating, and monetizing legal and permission creations. And he goes on to say, we must distinguish between deep fake, harmful unpermissioned, example, deep fake porn, deep fake misinformation, political campaigns, and synthetic media, or permission use of faces and voices, creating AI-generated clones of your soon-to-be deceased parents' voice with their permission to read an audiobook for your kids, and all of the content generated for Aletheia AI's marketplace will be labeled using the Oasis API to provide control to content creators and also to those whose images and likeness are being used. So this blockchain validation establishes a kind of barrier between valid synthetic media, which is legally permissioned, and suspicious material that isn't. So CEO Arif Khan goes on to say, a person's face and voice data belongs to the individual and no corporation or regulator should own this. With the Oasis Parcel API, the aim is to have this data be confidentially and securely stored and accessed through the Oasis blockchain. The user retains control of their data, who can access it, and choose how to monetize this data. So an interesting benefit of synthetic media as outlined by Arif Khan is that, quote, synthetic media does not require humans to interact, which is crucial during the pandemic as movie studios are unable to produce new content due to quarantine restrictions. So for instance, actors and their talent agencies can license out their face and voice data in a secure manner. And Arif Khan further states that our creator program is designed to facilitate the creation of synthetic characters and provide an income earning opportunity for a myriad of creative use cases that synthetic media will unlock. And one example of this is this Alex Mazmej. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. He says, first I tokenized myself, now I'm cloning myself. And he is apparently the first person to put his likeness on the Aletheia AI marketplace. And here it is. And apparently $99 can get 200 words if it is approved by him. But let's take a look at this baby O. My fellow YouTubers, tweeters, TikTokers, Redditors, and all other memes this video marks the beginning of memes 2.0. These new types of memes will make you see things you never thought you will see. Things will be weird, strange, creepy, and funny at the same time. And now, I would like to end this video with a message to all the haters out there. And I will let you go over to the Aletheia AI website, which I will link in the description to check out what that message is. Make sure to check out this website. And if you are a creator, you can tokenize your creations, own the rights to your assets, create alternative sources of income, and even build a social following. So apply to be a creator today. Otherwise, like and subscribe, share this video, and thanks for watching. Bye.